Salutations, spooks, spirits, and specters, and welcome back to more Corpse Party Book of Shadows as Chapter 5 continues with uh, Marishige looking over the video footage that Taguchi, right over here, has captured. Greatly upsetting the two middle schoolers nearby. Hmm? どうしたんだい<笑> なりちゃん。もう。うん。あの、私たち。もう。行く。どこへ。友達探してる途中なんで。何をそんなに慌ててるんだい。協力できることがあるかもしれないよ。いいです。私たちだけで頑張りますから。さよなら。何を勘違いしたんだか。俺のこと<笑><笑> <笑>まあいい。誤解を解くのも面倒だ。それに、なかなか面白い反応だったしな。カメラは置いておこう。これは、田口さんの目だ。他人の視線で見ても、いまいち感情に訴えてこない。<笑>俺は俺自身の目で見て、もっと触れたい。俺は俺だけのコレクションが欲しい。いや、死者を自分のものにしたいのか。あ、待て、何を考えている。俺は眉を探してるんだぞ。撮影はただのストレス発散だ。眉を探す前に俺が自暴自棄になっては話にならないからその防衛策だ。そう。眉を探すための手段でしかない。目的と手段を履き違えちゃダメだ。I see. I was hope I was kinda thinking like, um, is it gonna end here or Taguchi is completely motionless. It's impossible to tell from here if he's dead though, or simply unconscious. <laughs> After bracing myself for another in for an indeterminate amount of time, the earthquake finally subsided. There's a candle shimmering here, along with a note. Whatever you do, don't look behind you. 振り返ったらどうなるって言うんだ。Seriously? You're asking me?
どうしたんだフクロイ君はうるさい来るなってばお,お前もお前もあいつの仲間なんだろさくらんしてるみたいだな何があったんだ山本さん触るな違う違うお前やっぱりお前も誤解だよこれはさっき死体を調べた時におかしいって思ったんだあんなに平気で死体に触ってやっぱりやっぱりだこれじゃ何を言っても無駄だな私は騙されないもう引っかからないふやかましい女だ生きている人間はうるさくてかなわないな人は寡黙な方がいい山本さんもう行ってしまったのかい。どこか落ち着ける場所へ行こう。あ、そうだ。またあそこに。そういえば。今日はマユにセビリアの理髪師の録画を頼まれていた<笑>時間までに家へ帰らないと And here I was again. I pressed the button on my phone to shut off the second alarm I'd set. If this time display were accurate, then there was no chance of making it home in time to record the show for Mayu. Ato de Mayu ni a y a m a r a n a i t a n a I slid my finger naturally. Almost automatically for shutting off the alarm, from shutting off the alarm to opening my folder of saved photos. There was no sound in the room other than the tone of my button presses, and virtually no light other than that which shone from the LCD screen, or so it seemed anyway. Yet this was my rock. In this place, I could truly relax, here and here alone. I felt at peace. The air was filled with the overpowering aroma of blood and entrails. It would be enough to make most people vomit, but for me, it was a smell to savor. I'd even describe it as comforting. Perhaps it's because it reminded me that I was in her presence. She, who decorated the wall like a flower in full bloom. When I sat across from her, I felt more at ease than I could possibly convey in words. It was as if she'd always been here for me, as if she were waiting for me. And sure enough, whenever I felt weary or needed respite, the door to this infirmary would always open for me, despite its tendency to the contrary. This is Mayu, isn't it? That's right. That's right. At the end of the second episode. They tore her open and apart.
Each time it did, too, I would always be drawn in as if the same room, as if the room were swallowing me up, and my eyes would always happen upon this offering first. This girl upon the wall, slowly drying and slowly rotting, would always be there to greet me, and never once did I tire of this sight. I'd begun talking to myself, or maybe I was talking to her. With my phone's memory, within my phone's memory were stored some of man's most sensual, most voluptuous objects they art, and she was the tip of the brush, the grand prelude. I'd amassed a whole other building's worth of beautiful sculptures to admire now, too. I was thrilled to bursting. <laughs> this was the sculpture known as Mitsuki Yamamoto. In life, but in death, she was my property. One of my many pieces of found art. Those spirited eyes, now dulled and clammy. Those lips that spoke such harsh words, now stained with blood. Her abdomen shredded, her innards exposed. So alluring, so captivating was she now. Sometimes, destroying that which is beautiful only serves to make it more beautiful. And truly, this was the proof. It was a shame that I could only gaze upon these gorgeous works of art within these school grounds. Before returning home with Mayu, I'd need to erase every one of these photographs from my phone. It seemed like such a waste. The world in which I once dwelled was far too narrow-minded to accept these masterpieces. It was often a hard place to call home. But as long as I had Mayu with me, I could endure. And to that end, this folder was an obstacle, a detriment, a hurdle to overcome before I could rejoin the world of the living. I needed to delete it, to put it all behind me. Four. Well, we did have a huge cast this time around. Simple Pleasures. Seisho Savior. At least that achievement uh, image now makes sense, considering we did come across a body of uh, somebody who was sliced in two. Well... That was chapter five. Three left, and Meyer will be next time. So until then, thank you all very much for watching, and ciao for now. Ciao for now.